So, nandito na tayo sa problem number 3. And dito sa problem number 3, gumamit na tayo ng self-bias configuration. So, self-bias configuration, inalis na natin si gate voltage. So, mag magiging bias voltage ng VGS is nakadepende dito sa resistor na to. Okay. So, maglulup tayo from input. Okay. Dadaan natin si VGS then down to the ground. And take note, okay, since si IG is 0, okay, and ito si drain current. Since drain ka, si gate current is 0, therefore, si source current or si IS is same lang kay drain current. Okay, dito, sa JFET or sa FET, ID is equal to IS. Okay, hindi na lang sila bastang approximately equal, pero equal na talaga sila. Okay, so, dito sa loop number 1 natin, makuha natin ang equation 1. Okay, ang equation 1 natin, IG times 1 mega ohms minus VGS minus ISRS is equal to 0. But we know that IG is 0, no? Dahil sa primary constant siya, dito sa FET, 0 lagi ang gate current. And si IS naman is equal to ID or the drain current. So, makuha natin, negative VGS minus ISRS is equal to 0. And kung transpose natin si VGS sa kabila, Ah, sorry. And kung transpose natin sa kabila, okay, ah, sorry, ID or drain current ito, IDRS, transpose natin si drain current sa uh, si IDRS sa kabila, so, VGS, negative VGS is equal to IDRS. And if divide natin both sides of the equation by RS, so makuha natin, ID is equal to Negative VGS over RS. Okay, so that is equal to ID or the drain current is equal to negative VGS divided by 1 kilo ohms. Okay, so hindi pa natin nakuha si VGS kasi dalawang unknowns ito. Okay, dalawang variable sa isang equation. So, kukuha pa tayo ng isa pang equation. Okay, ang isa pang equation natin is yung transfer function. ID is equal to IDSS times the quantity of 1 minus VGS divided by VGS of or the VPIC quantity squared. And by substituting the values, makuha natin. IDSS natin is 8 milliamperes. So, times the quantity of 1 minus VGS divided by the VGS of or the VPIC, that is, the pinch of voltage, that is, 6, okay, negative 6, quantity squared. And dito, makikita natin na meron tayong dalawang unknown sa Pero, meron tayong dalawang equations. So, dito, two equations, two unknowns ang problem natin. Okay, so hanapin natin yung ID and yung VGS gamit itong dalawang equation na to. So, ito yung isa sa mga challenging part dito sa field effect transistors. Okay, ang gagawin ko, isa substitute ko tong negative VGS over 1 kilo ohms dito sa ID. So, okay. Since pareho naman silang ID or the drain current. Okay, so substitute natin. So makuha natin negative VGS divided by 1 kilo ohms is equal to 8 milliamperes times the quantity of negative negative, so magiging positive, VGS over 6 squared. 
and this is now a okay this is a quadratic equation and kapag quadratic equation okay dahil may squared siya quadratic equation siya makakakuha tayo ng dalawang value ng VGS okay dahil nga quadratic equation so dalawang value ng VGS ito VGS1 and VGS2 Okay, so by manipulating the equation, so negative VGS over 1 kilo ohms is equal to 8 milliamperes times 6 over 6 plus VGS over 6 squared. Ah, sorry, hindi na pala kailangan mag 6 over 6. Anyway, so... Ewan ko ba't ko ba ginawa yan. So, negative VGS divided by 1 kilo ohms is equal to 8 milliamperes times the quantity of okay, i-expand natin itong 1 plus VGS over 6 squared. So, magiging 1 plus 2 VGS over 6 plus VGS squared over 36. And again, this is a quadratic equation. Okay, dahil quadratic equation siya, okay, dederecho ko na siya, na siya sa calculator. Dalawang value ng VGS natin ay, okay, ang unang value ay negative 2.588 volts. While in second value, okay, nalalabas dito sa quadratic equation is negative 13.912 volts. And class, take note, tandaan yung mabuti, dito sa self-bias or sa mamaya sa voltage divider bias, hindi lalagpas beyond pinch of voltage yung VGS natin. Okay, so, so kung ito yung graph ng transfer of function, Okay, kung ito siya, and ito si IDSS, ito si pinch of voltage that is equal to negative 6 volts. Okay, yung unang point natin is nandito, negative 2 point something. Negative 2 point, 2 point 6. And yung pangalawang point is nandito, that is negative 13. 13.9. Plus, ipili lang tayo ng isang value ng VGS. Okay? Isa lang ang pwede maging value ng VGS. And dito, sa self-bias at sa, uh, sa voltage divider bias mamaya, never mapupunta sa side na to yung operation natin. Ibig sabihin, ang sagot dito sa VGS ay itong VGS1 at mali itong VGS2. So, our final answer for VGS or the gate to source voltage is negative 2.588 volts. And to solve for the drain current, okay, uh, pwede natin gamitin either sa equation 1 or sa equation 2. And by the way, ito yung equation 1 natin and dito yung equation 2 natin. Pwede natin gamitin kahit alin dyan sa dalawa. So, gagamitin ko ito kunwari itong equation 1. So, ID or the drain current is equal to negative times negative 2.588 divided by 1 kilo ohms. And the drain current is here is equal to okay, 2.588 5.88 milliamperes. That would be the value of our drain current. Which is equal din siya sa source current. And to solve for VDS, okay, now to solve for VDS, maglulup naman tayo from source, okay, maglulup tayo from voltage source 
Walang saan ko isusulat. Down to the ground. Katawagin natin siyang loop number 2. Sa loop number 2, okay, ang equation na makukuha natin dyan is okay, equation 2. VDD okay, parang sa BJT lang na minus IDRD minus VDS minus ISRS is equal to 0. And to get VDS or the drain to source voltage, ita transpose lang natin yan. So the drain to source voltage is equal to VDD minus IDRD minus IS times RS. By substituting the values, we'll get 24 volts minus yung ID natin na 2.588 milliamperes times the value of drain resistance which is 3.3 kilo ohms minus the value of source resistance which is equal din sa ID that is 2.588 milliamperes times 1 kilo ohms. So, the value of our VDS or the drain to source voltage is equal to 12.87 volts. That would be our final answer sa VDS. Okay, so, dito sa self-bias and mamaya sa, uh, sa voltage divider bias, nagkakaroon ng two equations and two unknowns. Para makuha yung ID and yung VJS. And from two equations to unknowns, magkakaroon naman tayo ng quadratic equation. At dahil sa quadratic equation na yan, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang values from the formula, kakaroon ng dalawang values ng VJS na. No? Pero isa lang ang kukunin natin. Isa lang dyan ang tamang sagot. Okay, and in this case, ito siya, si VGS1 is, which is less than the, the pinch of voltage. Kasi nga, hindi pwedeng pumunta sa region na to yung, uh, itong field effect, uh, itong JFET or yung DMOSFET na self-bias or mamaya sa voltage divider bias. Alright, so here are our final answers. VGS1. Okay, the VGS is negative 2.588 volts. The drain current is 2.588 milliamperes. And the drain to source voltage is 12.87 volts.